My name's Tom Richards. I farm here with my wife and my son and his, his wife. We've milked 400 cows and we're in the process of being a pro cross herd. Uh, we milk, uh, the, use mainly Viking Reds over the Holsteins and we've found that they're very uh, healthy cows. We find that they hold their condition when they, once they're milking and we have no uh, health problems with them whatsoever. Probably not one of the favourites as they don't get in calf. Fertility's fairly low, but the Montbelliards and the Reds are very good fertility. So that's why we've gone the three-way cross sort of thing. So yeah, and they milk just as well. Solids is good. So we're slowly fading out the Frisians, which is, I think, a good thing. So. Now the fertility of the Reds is good, and the mastitis is very low. That's why we sort of went that way in the first place, uh, just to get rid of mastitis. And um, yeah, since we've had the reds and the Montpellier's in the herd, we're sitting quite comfortably in band one, premium milk all the time. So, yes, it's good. So the Holsteins, we were pretty dissatisfied with the Holstein breed because the more you fed them, the more they milked, the more condition they lost. And putting condition back on Holsteins was very, very difficult. You could feed them as much as you like, but they'd keep milking. We certainly wanted the milk, but we wanted the condition also. So after reading an article in the Australian Dairy Farmer, we decided to go with Pro Cross, being the first cross being the Holstein, over the Holstein being the Viking Red. And the reason we did that was because in the articles that I read about it, they, the, the, the uh, Viking Reds held their condition. And that's what our aim was. Uh, we've also found with that, all our health traits have improved. Our longevity is unbelievable. Those, those cattle, they will just last in the herd. They do not drop out like Holsteins. They get in calf easier. And then, of course, we go the Monty over the top of them. We still improve with our hold our uh, body condition, etc. Uh, just uh, uh, this year's figures. I count what we've got. We've got seven cows left on their seventh calf. Uh, the Holsteins of what we had, 11.8 percent of the seven calves is, is still there as Holsteins. The Reds is 47 percent of them are still left as seven-year-olds. So that just shows, you know from 11% to 47% still in the herd shows just how much and that carries on right through this this uh, sixth car was 27% of the Holsteins left 54% of the Reds so that certainly pays for itself very quickly uh, and to the extent that this year or next season uh, we will have approximately 100 head too many to milk so we'll be sales of 100 cows after after all our culling the other one is I've never got up, I never get up at night again ever to check anything in calf to red or Montbelliard. They just carve. The carving ease is terrific. When we were all Holstein, I was up every night and if there was something carving when I got up at, eight, at 10 o'clock I'd have to go back at 2 o'clock to check and all that. Never. I don't move, lose a minute's sleep anymore. Just looking at the condition of the Montbelliards, how they're holding their condition in these tough, in these tough conditions compared to the, the Holstein standing in front of her. She's got good fat cover, good cover over her, short ribs over her tail, where this one over here in, in front of her has lightened right off, won't hold a condition. And that's the difference between Holstein, Reds and Motties. Seven, Fosky. Where we go? Come on.